Hi friends, today we're going to talk about my top 5 strumming patterns to create any song you want with ample guitar VSTs. And we're starting right now. So in any ample guitar VST instrument, you can write songs in the strummer view. But if you're not a guitarist, it can be hard to design an efficient strum pattern. So I'm going to give you my top 5 patterns that sounds good whatever is the chord progression you are using. So let's go. Okay, among my top 5 strumming patterns, that one will work on an acoustic and an electric guitar VST. It's a bit of a classic, but it's never fades. So have a listen. Great, now I'm going to build a chord progression. So we'll go with an E minor, third position, then a C major, second position, then a G major in first position, and a B7 in first position as well. So here we go. Great, now let's make another song with the same strum pattern and we'll just change the chord we have here in first position. We won't have an E minor anymore, but we'll go with a D minor third position and we'll remove the two first notes right there. So have a listen. Okay, among my top 5 strumming patterns, that one is great with acoustic guitars. So it starts with two root notes, and we must be super careful here if we want to switch chords. Indeed, we are playing now with an E minor, 3rd position, and root notes is placed on string number 5. So in the grid, we must play the root notes right there. But if we are switching chords, say to a G major, third position, the root note will be played on string number 6, so not here anymore in the grid, but right here. So a nice thing to do is to go to pattern number 2, we import everything from pattern number 1, and we just modify the root note positions right there. Okay, so let's come back to the E minor, let's switch to pattern number 1 again, and let's see how it sounds. Now with the instruments. Okay, now let's see what we can have with another chord progression. So instead of having an E minor, D major, G major, and B7, we'll go with an A minor, a D minor, and an E7. So let's see how it sounds.
Okay, top five strumming patterns, pattern number three. So that one is, uh, I'm using it with the finger library, not the strum library anymore. So I'm actually using that pattern in one of my projects with my band. So uh, it's something super easy to use, but again, we are using root notes, okay? So um, as the chord progression goes, you might be super careful with the root note positions there. You need to adjust them depending on the chord you are playing in the chord bank. So uh, this chord progression goes with the D minor, then an A major, then F major, and then we finish with an A major. All of the chords are played in the first position. So just have a listen. Okay, so let's try the strum pattern with another instrument and another chord progression. So I'm using Ampo Guitar TC2 with the neck extension. And then I'm going to use Guitar Rig, the almost clean preset, which is great. And then I'm going to load the top five strumming pattern number three, strum pattern. And uh, then we need to uh, watch closely the, the root notes we have there because we are going from an A minor with the root note positions at string num on string number five to an F major and a G major, okay, which have uh, their root notes placed on string number six. So we need to go to pattern number two, import everything from pattern number one, and just adjust the root notes on the grid, just like this. And let's see how it sounds. Okay, now I'm back with Ampo Guitar Gibson 2 and I'm giving you a strum pattern that is a, a bit more complicated to do but uh, that it sounds super great especially if you want to like have a funk or a pop song. So uh, again there is a root note coming up there so as we go in the chord progression you need to modify or to adjust that root note position in the grid. Okay, so let's uh, see what we have in terms of VST. I'm using Super Clean Funk preset in Guitar Rig and a little EQ there to sharpen the highs. Then I'm going with the neck um, uh, plugin, which is not an extension, but it will sound super bright in, and super good in bridge and both extensions. So uh, let's see what we have there. We'll go with a D minor, then an A sharp major, a G minor, and an A major. Okay, so let's have a listen. Great, now with the sound. Okay, top five strumming patterns, pattern number five. So this one is a super simple and super easy to do. You do not have to adjust it depending on the root notes uh, you are playing. Uh, that one is will work in every situation. I already used it, so if you have watched my previous videos, you may have heard the song I'm going to play now. So uh, let's listen to how it sounds.
super classic. So uh, let's see what we have and uh, afterwards we'll build another chord progression so you can use that strum pattern in any of your creations. So let's start. <laughs> Okay, so now let's try the strum pattern with another chord progression. So I'm going with a G major, an E minor, and a D major, fast position for all chords. So I'm going to use Ample Guitar Taylor. I'm using the strum library. And here's how it sounds. So if you want to download the strumming patterns uh, file, you need to click on the link I give you in the description box uh, or right below the YouTube video. Then uh, you download them. You load them in documents, ample sound, strum patterns. Okay, you copy them right there. Then you go to your DO and you click on load pattern and you search for top five strumming patterns and you use one of the uh, sequences I'm giving you. Right, that's it for this video. So uh, if you have enjoyed it, uh, make sure you have subscribed and that you have liked that video. Tell me in the comments if uh, you found this useful and see you next time. <laughs>